What's up folks, Jay here from Jay's Way and I'm excited for this one because you guys have asked for it repeatedly and I'm just gonna deliver. I got a whole bunch of ways you can do a bunch of free niche research, stay abreast of trends, goings on in the world, see what's going on all for free. Super easy to do. You don't need to spend a dime on any of this. There are tools out there of course that make this a little bit you know, quicker of a process or more refined of a process. But if you wanna spend zero dollars on it, you absolutely can. I even went to the extent in another video about niche research where I was new to the niche. So I even suggested asking somebody in the niche. And in my example, I asked my sister who's a nurse some ideas in the nursing niche. You know, I've got a whole slew of sites here. So without further ado, let's get right to it here. The first thing I wanted to show you guys was this randomwordgenerator.com. And I have to throw a bone here to Adam. I'm going to link to his channel down below. He's actually doing some really cool things with the Amazon influencer program where you can make short little videos that end up in the list photos on different products on Amazon so you have like listing photos and then there's like attached videos that kind of show you know a little bit of a demo of the product well he's making some really good bank on doing that stuff so make sure you check that out but throwing a bone to him here because he put me on to in one of his videos whether he knows it or not thanks Adam put me on to this website here called random word generator and all I did you could pick like nouns verbs adjectives extended non English whatever I just put noun and I changed this to 20 and then I just hit generate random words and the first list it showed up with was this here so completely random we got system organization sector atmosphere reaction analysis alcohol as far as shirts go I'll save this one recognition assistance appearance let's just do more success affair data meat wealth grocery speech mixture that could go with alcoholic drinks Let's do one more. I'm thinking I'm liking the alcohol one here. Tea conversation. Tea could work in terms of rumor mill, conversation, awareness. Awareness is a good one. Let's do tea and conversation as well. Policy could go hand in hand with awareness for campaigns for change, expression, friendship. And these would be absolutely passionate niches, right? If you were to go into something like uh, awareness and, and uh, systemic change and stuff like that. Do one more and endorse, stem, cousin, sensation free, projection, exempt, division. So yeah, that's something too. So division, that just made me think of the political niche. And you know what? I think we got plenty here to work with. So alcohol, I'm going to add politics to this because I know 2024 is going to be a massive one with political stuff. If you don't like the option stateside for red or blue, you don't have to pick either. You can make a funny, my dog for president 2024 or whatever it is, right? So there's all kinds of ways you can leverage the political niches without having to be divisive or pick one or the other. What you definitely should not do is if you lean left or right or red or blue in your Etsy shop or Amazon listings or Amazon store, don't be showing designs for both parties because it will offend one or the other and ultimately you'll look like a bit of an imposter because you're kind of you know not picking a side with the other right so if for example you were a vegetarian you wouldn't want to be showing hunting designs or fishing designs in the same store right or you're going to lose that entire vegetarian sect or you won't get the buy-in from the hunter gatherer kind of niche if you're also doing the vegan idea right so they're very very opposite so in terms of the politics you definitely want to either go one or the other or do something completely different like again you know my dog for president something like that anyway i'm gonna go into chat gpt here super free i do have a paid subscription to it but you don't need to have a paid subscription to it you can use it for free and i'm just gonna ask it for professions involving alcohol since we got the alcohol there brewmaster distiller winemaker sommelier bartender tons of brewmasters and distillers arguably thousands and thousands of bartenders i think i like where this is going already so this is already doing a bunch of niche research into alcohol related professions because it gives you a little bit of a snippet of what they do so the brewmaster specializes in the brewing selecting the ingredients seems like it'd be more of like the executive chef sort of thing when it comes to alcohol right distiller focuses on producing the spirits and this would be your cooks in the kitchen they manage the distillation process and often work on flavor development wine Maker. I like the idea of bartender here. It's something I've dabbled in the past. I've been a bartender and a server back in the day. And some pubs I've gone into have also had bartenders wearing funny shirts and stuff like that, right? And I've seen a few on the island here in Belize at Key Cocker. Uh, we've, seen, we've been to a few places where they have like funny signs on the walls or they're wearing funny things on the bartenders. So I'm just going to take this bartender now. 
and I'm gonna ask it to give me some slogans for funny bartender shirts. You know, already getting some bangers here. I've never dabbled into this niche at all in terms of t-shirt design, but man, look at this. I mix, therefore I am. Awesome, right? It's funny. It's trust me, you need another drink. Will work for tips. Alcohol, because no great story ever started with a salad. Be nice to me, I control the alcohol. There you go, right? Shaken, not stirred, and sometimes spilled. It's funny if you know the industry at all and you've ever tried to make drinks in a hurry, you're definitely gonna spill some. Bartender, because magician isn't an official job title. Amazing, right? It's like some of these are gold. We don't get drunk, we get awesome. Keep calm and pretend it's on the happy hour menu. There you go, right? These are great ones. I can ask it, you know, for 10 more. 10 more fun and witty bartender shirt ideas. This is my circus and these are my monkeys. Or you could say, this is my circus and you are my monkeys, right? Drink Whisperer. E equals MC squared. Energy equals more cocktails. That's awesome. Make poor decisions, get it? <laughs> Bartender by day, superhero by night. I found this humorous. I've seen that on a few different ones, but this is telling you now, featuring an image of a humorous bone with a cocktail. Ideal for the bartender with a bone dry sense of humor. Wah, wah. Serving liquid courage. License to grill and serve drinks. The liver whisperer, it's five o'clock somewhere. Obviously this is uh, a Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett quote, I believe. So I would, you know, obviously check trademarks before we do anything. So for example, I mix, therefore I am. You go right here to USPTO.gov and we can hover over the trademark tab here. And the second column here is search our trademark database. Trademark search system. And we can search I mix. Mix, therefore I am. And we don't care about dead, so you can just deselect that and it'll have registered and pending. So 85,000 results, but none of them. So it shows the most relevant results. So the ones that'll have like the actual keywords in it at the beginning. So it looks like there's nothing that way. And we can refine, it's already got 025 there. So I'll just do that. I mix, therefore I am. And now we're down to 8,900 results and there's nothing to do with this. It looks like we are good. Good. And by default, it uh, sorts by relevance. So it's gonna choose all the trademarks that have the most similar keywords to what you've entered in here. And you know, if you don't see it in the first like five or six, you're typically good, but you just wanna scroll just to make sure. But otherwise, yeah, you're good. So I mix there for I am. Let's go back and look at, will work for tips? Sure, why not? Museum goat faith will work. So you can see some words are will work are similar will work for recovery is the closest and nothing that way. So you get the picture here. That is one way of doing it. You can just honestly ask the chat GPT to give you a couple slogans related to a random word if you want for a niche for t-shirt designs and out it spits, right? I mean, and you don't have to use chat GPT. There's a ton of AI options out there now, but I mean, you guys see how easy that was. I am gonna show you a different one here. So what are some events that are taking place in 2024 that I could make t-shirts for? Let's see what we get here. Paris, uh, okay, so Paris Games, Karma Festival, Indigenous Culture in Australia. I don't know why it's thinking we're in Australia. Day of the Dead in Mexico, Tour de France, Diwali, India. So there's all, all kinds of things you can make for t-shirts that are going to be appealing to various cultures worldwide. But we can also ask the same question and just make it for USA. Okay, here we got some stuff that could be gold here. And we got some stuff here that I already touched on. One was the politics. I wouldn't necessarily touch anything to do with the trial necessarily. However, you can make sure it's for Biden or Trump as long as they are currently candidates running in the election. So that would be fair game until the election has elapsed and only then the POTUS himself will be the one you will be able to make sure it's about or for. Total solar eclipse so this is going to be a massive one april 8th which is coming soon so this is when you're going to want to get on now feb march april yeah we are literally three months out so then we can come over to trends.google.com which is google trends here and i will just drop total solar eclipse in here and see what we come up with so you can see over the past day we've had a bit of interest here so if we go let's say past 12 months you can see that it's starting to spike again here because there's another eclipse coming yeah so you can see that starting to climb here now. So total solar eclipse 2024 is on its way up. So let's just go with over the past, let's say 30 days. 
Yes, yeah, so you can see a massive spike here now. And it looks like Montana, Arkansas, the darker colors, obviously, it tells you here Vermont is number two with the amount of searches, the subregion. And this very likely could be because of where the path of the eclipse will be. So not only could you come up with like solar eclipse 2024 design, you can also come up with state specific kind of design that might have the actual stamp of the time of day that that eclipse happens to be at its peak wherever it happens to be traveling. So those are shirts that absolutely crushed it. I want to say like four or five years ago, 2018 or 2019, maybe whenever the last major solar eclipse was, there were people that were doing like 10, 12K a month, even 20K a month just on one single solar eclipse design. So don't sleep on that one. I would probably suggest you do that. Related topics, we have state parks, interactive map, blah, blah, blah. The interactive map might have... Um, tell you where and when while you're looking at it live sort of thing total eclipse dallas 2024 so this is where full solar eclipse 2024 so we can do a click on that and see what we got here so if we wanted to search for example i'll just ask chat gpt perfect so i just asked what is the path of the solar eclipse in 2024 and it says the path of the solar eclipse in 2024 will traverse parts of the central and northeastern united states including texas oklahoma arkansas missouri illinois and a few other others here. So when it's saying the central and northeastern, I will just actually drop this into the search bar now. Click on a map and yeah, April 8th, 2024. Just click on this and you can see eclipse maps and here we go. So the green arguably is going to be where it will be at its peak like the direct path and it'll probably be visible from the yellow line to the yellow line here. Detailed overview. Okay, so it's showing us the states that it's going to pass over. And you know, if you, Texas is a massive one, so at least you know where it will be traveling here. A list of Texas cities in the path of totality. This could be a gold mine here. Narrow path, totality across 13 US states. You must be located to experience the total phase of 2024. You must be located within the narrow path of totality. The following is a sampling of US cities that are located. So you could do now city specific and look at this. This is where the magic is right here. So you've got Eagle Pass, totality start and duration four minutes. So you can put this on a shirt, 127, 32 p.m. plus, you know, two, whatever that is, 131. This is where I'm talking about, right? So not only can you have total solar eclipse 2024, you can also have the city specific one, right? These are things that might very likely do some damage in terms of making you some quick money. And I would honestly probably sort by population that way. That way, you know that, you know, the bigger city cities first ultimately zoom way out and just do the state right yeah and then again we have the list of all the states so you can just go to town and dive right into all of these states and all these cities right so that's one easy one another one i like to hit here is business.pinterest.com this is where pinterest predicts this is also a super useful tool it's free it's the trends of tomorrow today so people use Pinterest to plan for the future which means they have a unique insight into what's going to be really big really soon right here explore the breakout trends for 2024 and shop them on Pinterest before anyone else so we just click here explore the trends and this is kind of like really cool in terms of inspiration because it gives you all the visuals right like aquatecture I had no idea that's a thing architecture but underwater it looks like so eclectic ground Grandpa. So like right away, you know, I'm thinking like funny grandpa t-shirts, right? So what does the eclectic grandpa look like? It's like an aging Gen Xer, I guess now making a racket. So you've got racket sports, I imagine, but let's like kitchens, inch stones, no idea, jazz revival. And this is so inspiring right now. Tropic like it's hot. Like this might hit the nail on the head here. Melty mashups. Oh man, now I'm getting hungry. Dirt flirt. So people like getting dirty maybe. You no know, rugged outdoor stuff. Give a scrap. Scrapbooking might be coming back. Rest stops. We got here knockout workouts. That makes sense for the new year. Everybody's always up on trying to do something healthy in the new year cute coins head to glow this is the whole point about doing you know a niche research that way and like looking into for ideas this is all of the brainstorming element right so if you have any interest whatsoever just write them down and then maybe do a search like that or try to come to a site like this where hopefully you're going to be bombarded with information right time to get lost at sea in 2024 your favorite foods home decor trends and fashion finds will get tropical treatment Boomers and Gen Z are driving this escapist aesthetic complete with hibiscus prints, 
tasty mocktail and hot 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 pink bring on the sunscreen scented nostalgia and we saw the hot pink with the barbie movie came the rise of the pink pineapple mocktails trending search terms so this tells you there was an increase of 70 percent of pineapple mocktails so pineapples could be hot in terms of like prints crushed pineapple upside down okay coconut aesthetic so what is a coconut aesthetic so we can just look here for what is going to be trending so hibiscus prints see what we got mocktails and pink so we've got some shells here, definitely BG themed stuff, some coral, more shells. We've got the pinks, like they said, it says sunflower leaf, but I don't know if that's a sunflower leaf. You got palm trees seem to be trending. Just so happens I have a palm tree in my logo. I think maybe I was ahead of the Pinterest trend curve. Got leafy kind of designs here, definitely patterns I'm seeing. More coral, more of these, uh, looks like it's a palm of some sort. I think it's the Monstera, I could be wrong. More floral type prints. Got some tropical fruit, looks like. More floral prints. Billabong women's. More floral prints here. So this is another great way. So we can just click on Billabong here. Go to billabong.com. Another one I was gonna suggest with an H&M or a Target you can do. But since Billabong popped up, we can just go to women, click on tops, and then graphic tees and tanks and see what's trending in terms of design aesthetics. Cause these guys, trust me, have done their due diligence and research. And again, we've got floral prints, island blooms, looks like spring dream so let's take a look at this so notice how muted these are right like i've always been a proponent of high contrast but if we're doing shirts like the comfort colors that have that kind of faded vibe then these pastel -y, you know more faded look sort of stuff could be what is going to be big this year and i billabong thinks so as far as tropic stuff goes this could be huge so you've got it's like a, a sunset with like some hawaiian type topography there it looks like a volcano potentially billabong uh logo obviously we're not going to rip this off but you can definitely see where the flowers and stuff are trending here if we back out click this one what do we have here so we've got dolphins here and ironically enough we were on a catamaran ride yesterday at sunset and we actually capped the ride by seeing some dolphins you know playfully swimming beside the boat and kind of breaching there so that was pretty cool so this is kind of you know it's just funny how it's kind of hitting now coincidentally but yeah more hibiscus flower looks like with some muted faded designs which i think could look really good on light colors again the comfort colors you can get right now on printify and of course we can come over now to etsy and we can type in hibiscus floral shirt and see what happens you can see that there's already a bunch here this actually looks very similar to what i saw here which i wouldn't recommend doing wow yeah so do not do this do not just take their design and delete the logo it's not the same similar enough but yeah, you can do all kinds of different things here. Aloha, there you go, state of mind. It's beachy, it's tropical with the hibiscus in it. It looks amazing, right? These are easy ways to kind of figure out if stuff is selling. You can just kind of see here. Etsy's showing us what we they think we want to see. And you can always go over to the Everbee Chrome extension again. You can download it for free, add it, and we can just see here. It's going to pull up product analytics for exactly what we searched here. So hibiscus floral shirt. We can just sort by monthly revenue here. And you can see that one product, this one shirt is doing $481, 252 sales. Aloha, hibiscus, this one 337. This is one item, right? So if you have like four or five of these in your shop, you're doing over a thousand dollars a month in revenue in just those four or five designs. Hibiscus shirt, monthly sales. So Pinterest is telling us that this is gonna be a massive trend in 2024. And I can already tell that none of these have applied the sort of muted colors that Pinterest was telling us that will be kind of the hot ones. So, so these look like almost like competition to comfort colors. If they're not actually comfort colors brand, it might be the same kind of shirt. And it says, yeah, it's the pigment dyed soft cotton jersey. So looking at this stuff, like skeletons are still there, but you still got the hibiscus, right? You still got the flowers, the, that whole faded, muted pastel colors with the pinks in there. You know, this is going to be a massive trend, right? So that's probably where I would dive into next. So we'll get some eclipse designs up. And if you want to stand out, 
out from what's going to be out there, it's just going to be a lot of text on a shirt with a picture of a sun or an eclipse or something. You can definitely apply these sort of aesthetics that you're seeing here at what we saw in the Pinterest trends here, the tropic like it's hot into the eclipse designs, right? So if we go to Printify right now, you can see catalog. Uh, it doesn't matter if we go men's t-shirts, we go comfort colors. Unisex garment dyed t-shirt comfort colors. This is the shirt that is making everybody go crazy right now. And they've got some amazing colors. If you look right here, you, you can get with Printify Premium for $10.78, which is almost like th what, three and a half bucks off, three and a quarter off the regular price. And these shirts right now, you can see all of these colors right now. Swift Pod has 58 colors here. And let's just check in terms of in stock. It looks like they're all in stock. What what I would recommend if you guys are going to use the comfort colors is to pick some colors that more than one printer has at least that way you will have a backup if there is any kind of shortage like the heliconia looks like it could be similar to the crunchberry which are unfortunately all out of stock so that's a testament to the hot pink so these guys still haven't gotten their inventory in yet so just be conscious of that but I think these are going to look really good so crunchberry here a good backup to the heliconia and they're all in stock so your customer probably wouldn't be you know too concerned with whether or not it was a crunchberry versus a heliconia so if you look at crunchberry right here and then we look at heliconia i mean they look pretty much the same right so i would be adding those for your etsy shop you know your products there and if you're selling on amazon uh proper you can also add those at your own amazon shop if you create a seller central account you can leverage all of the print on demand awesomeness that is printify for your comfort colors and do designs that look like these because they are going to be big this year but again maybe you can put this kind of aesthetic onto the eclipse designs and see what comes out of there the other thing you can do for to stay on top of trends like this stuff is to actually subscribe to their newsletters right that way you're going to have stuff coming into your inbox that is all centric based on certain elements that you've you know perused on their site different interests whatever you got going on what's going on in the news you can subscribe to newsletters for websites that you enjoy if you're looking at uh, baking niches or something like that you could subscribe to a website that gives you recipes piece of cooking site and they'll inbox you with new ideas new trends what's going on in the cooking kind of world and you can kind of leverage some designs to make sure it's around that stuff too right like there'll be pinks colors trending you know those are where you can get different color palettes and new design ideas for existing designs too so back to chat gpt i just asked what will be hot trending graphic t-shirts to make in the usa in 2024 and it's telling me that they could include themes related to the presidential election we've already talked about pop culture references of course just make sure that you're not doing anything that would be copyright or trademark like infringing on any intellectual property. Environmental activism is going to be a big one also. We are seeing record temperature swings and rapid decline, unfortunately, of our corals. We're seeing that firsthand with Fragments of Hope here in Belize. They keep updating. They've had some success with some Elkhorn projects, but most of the corals are slowly dying and a lot of it is due to the rise in the global sea temperatures. So activism that way for sure, mental health awareness, technological advancements, retro and nostalgic designs, or those highlighting significant national events such as a total solar eclipse might also be popular. So remember this, we got the retro and nostalgic designs, right? ChatGPT is just kind of validating what we're seeing here. We're seeing very retro flowery designs, which is what Pinterest told us to look for. And those highlighting significant national events like we just covered, like we have so much information already and keep an eye on cultural shifts, technological innovation and social media to identify and capitalize on emerging trends. But I think you're gonna do really well with these comfort colors here with the trending designs we saw there. And I'm going going to probably stick with three or four colors because I want to limit what my customers will see. We've got our Crunchberry for sure, maybe a banana, maybe a light pink, and then definitely a white, wherever that is. And just all these muted designs, right? Bonus points if you decide to distress your designs. I've got a tutorial video on how to distress your designs as well that I'll link to here. But otherwise, I think this is going to be a big win. So this is stuff that's free and available to anybody out there. So just to recap, we've got a random word generator, chat GPT, you've got Google Trends, you've got Pinterest, business.pinterest.com, it's Pinterest Predicts, and look at this, Cafe Core, I didn't even notice that. Now we're looking at Cafe Core, bar carts be gone. So we're already going back to the bartender thing. And in 2024, at home coffee stations. So now we're asking AI, for example, what would some funny slogans to make on shirts for the, what you want 
want to call cafe core niche for people who are doing at home coffee stations, right? Boomers and Gen X will bring the coffee shop vibe inside, searching for everything from cafe chalkboard aesthetic and coffee station decor. So cafe chalkboard aesthetic. Now I want to know what this is. Cafe chalkboard has gone up. Coffee bar styling has gone up 1100%. Cafe chalkboard has gone up 50% for what is being searched. Chalk sign design ideas. This is telling me chalk word designs, like fonts that look like chalk on top of these light pinks in these retro themed and this looks like you know some kind of 70s you got that color these again are, are hitting you know the nail on the head for me right so i would come down here and click on shop the trend and just kind of see what we're looking at here so we got kind of the retro things that we've seen on creative fabrica i'll leave a link down below for that but these are where you can get kind of inspiration for how to use them in a way that hasn't already been used right coffee menu we got flat white long black cappuccino you know you can just literally put a menu on a shirt uh, it looks like this stuff will sell right but first coffee Coffee, you know there's so many coffee designs but the common element I'm seeing here is this definite retro kind of vibe what I would have called retro in the 70s seems to be what is where this is going we're seeing lots of the greens lots of the pinks still so yeah we got chalkboard designs we got those hibiscus pinks and greens these are things that could even go in the same niche like summer vibes and coffee or tropical kind of thing if you can combine these in a tasteful way maybe iced coffees or iced lattes right on a hot beach hot tropical days right here exactly iced coffee right these are things that could potentially go well together on a shirt all right so we've got some cafe centric stuff again i'm just going to go to product analytics and see what we got here oh boy look at this coffee sweatshirt coffee weather on a sweatshirt coffee that's all it says in that academic sort of stylized font here and it says weather underneath that's it run cmc i don't know what that is but it's definitely too close to run dmc in terms of brand confusion so i wouldn't touch that but these guys literally put coffee weather on a shirt and they're doing two thousand dollars a month in revenue on a sweatshirt so the niche is validated here pretty quickly cafecito so let's see what cafecito me. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So here we are going down another rabbit hole again. So I am going to just go right into this because I have no idea what's going on. Okay, yeah, we got numbers already. Holy, so on a Tumblr, okay, it's selling 2,500 a month. So let's go back to shirt. So you can sell tons on a Tumblr, we know that now. Product analytics, still showing. Okay, so here's a shirt, so 580, yeah. So the, like this stuff is selling. And look at that, it's the vintage graphics from creative fabrica it looks like now you can apply it to this slogan here and i'm going to go into a new google window google that and just put meaning english gossip all right so it's kind of the whole play on the t thing so that's coffee and gossip but in spanish that's a whole trending kind of niche vibe break going on here so product analytics so easy to you know figure out what's going on here it's telling you the amount of sales here and you can see the revenue here so like tumblers are crushing it right now coffee mugs too nine hundred dollars so let's see what we got for if i was to search coffee we got mugs for days here so insulated coffee mug all kinds all over print it looks like or well and then we can also put it on the tumblr just gonna go back to this one because this will look like it'd be amazing for valentine's day it's got the heart-shaped handle right and what if i went for tumblers you got the best seller here so that's an easy win right but yeah so many this is the kind of thing where stacy's got something similar for the beach here because it's just so hot that you know you can put your iced coffee in it and it'll stay cool while you're out walking around or at the beach or whatever it is you want to do so many ways to win here yeah these look great it's even got the carabiner you can hang off your beach bag right we talked about so like another product you can add to your beach theme shop it's endless and if that's the background color for these we're already winning fancy fanny what are we looking at deep teal dusty rose sea glass this looks great let's go into start designing just going to throw the same design on here but we've got dusty blue or we've got the sea glass and that looks great a pretty good win here so i'm going to come over to kittle now and look for some kind of retro hibiscus style design t-shirts and we can go with tropical i'll just leave that as is 
Yeah, so there's already some stuff here. You can kind of just change this to, you know, whatever slogan you think would look great on here. We've already got some. I would, you know, obviously lighten these colors to be more muted. This one works too. I've used that before actually. Peach Bum. I don't know how long these retro sunsets are going to be around for, but you know what? If the retro vibe is still in going to be in full swing according to Pinterest in 2024, it might be around for a little while longer. But again, I would maybe switch it up a bit and do something like like this right a little bit different twist on that that will set you apart these are kind of cool ideas here the 90s cali gal so this is all kinds of stuff you can use here you just click on it and then you can edit it right so just click on that and all you have to do here and it applies the same thing so you can click on the type double click on it and we can say let's go with cali and coffee so i'll just select this and we'll make the font smaller so that it fits the 90s Cali and coffee I mean we can get rid of this right away and then you got your Cali and coffee here you know things like that could work with we can always go to elements here and we can look for illustrations let's just go with viscous then we got some cool ones here I'll just throw that on here and we can maybe do this I'll go to layers and it's showing illustration here it always highlights the layer that your element that you selected is on so if I select it on the flamingo now you can see it's highlighted the flamingo I'll go back to this and then I'm just going to drag this down to the bottom so it's underneath the coffee and we can just turn this a little bit so you can see more of the flower I want to see Los Angeles California okay so we can make this one a little smaller here so it kind of fits that looks pretty sweet and we can change the color palette here to kind of match other elements in the design so if you wanted to change this white to the pink for example or the blue to the pink i would actually maybe change this i don't like this blue but we can change that blue to the lighter blue that is in our hibiscus here and then this i think we can change the leaves maybe we can try the same pink as the flamingo or is that too much no that actually kind of looks good right we can change the stroke to the same darker blue so that looks a little bit better now so this is all way more cohesive we can select this and shift click to select both of those and then you'll see los angeles and california and we're gonna move it above the illustration so now it's on top of the flower i can move it down a little bit too Make sure you have this set to 4,500 pixels, which is about 15 inches at 300 DPI. That's what I like to do anyway, remove the background. It seems to be the perfect size in terms of width for Merch by Amazon, and it works for absolutely every platform out there. And I've had amazing results on Printify as well. So then you would just download uh, the PNG here. I click remove background, optimize quality, and download the PNG. So that's done. You can see the design here. And then all we have to do is go back into Printify here. We wanted to start designing, drag and drop our design, move that up a little bit, make this a little bigger if we want. You can click and drag, pull that out a bit. So we can move that out a bit. We can, uh, we can move that over a bit, center it there. And we can select the colors that I think will look good. So there's white would look good. This muted yellow, whatever that is, ivory looks good. It'll probably look great on this chambray. And we've got our blossom, our crunch berry. Of course, it looks awesome on that. So, you know, just a, a few colors. You don't have to offer all of them. You don't want to give your customer analysis paralysis, which is otherwise known as decision fatigue. When they have too many options, they'll just get overwhelmed and decide to not check out and maybe go somewhere else where they have no options or less options to pick from, right? If you guys know, sometimes like when you're trying to add, if you had to, for example, pick only four colors sometimes it's difficult to narrow it down to four colors right so yeah, i always end up with a few more colors than i intend to but the goal is to have a limited amount so that nobody has any issues choosing what color they think the design will look great on for them from your etsy shop or from your amazon store and then adding to cart and checking out right you've got about eight seconds in terms of attention span before people go to another page so you want to make sure that you're able to make it easy for them to add that design and on that product in the color and size they want and add to cart all in under eight seconds before they leave right so you can just do that save product 
You can title it what you want, however you want them to do it, and then you can either publish or save as draft. I typically save as draft, and I might even offer Kelly and Coffee or something like a personalization option, right? This one now is a Chrome extension called AMZ Suggestion Expander. It's a free Chrome extension. You can just add it to your Chrome browser, and then you can type in, for example, retro shirt, and it shows you retro shirts for men, for women, for women vintage, retro shirt 80s, 90s kids, Disney retro shirt, we're gonna stay away from Disney. For girls, for women, it's even got misspellings. It shows you like keywords that are before. It shows you what is currently being searched on Amazon as default here. What keywords are showing up with our entered keywords, what shows up in searches, keywords before, what shows up with keywords after, and other, just other you know, combination ones. So retro Valentine shirt, there you go. There's a whole other niche that's coming up really soon. You got, uh, what, six weeks, so the middle of February for that one. But uh, otherwise, you know, there's retro Disney shirt or retro Mickey shirt, so you can not use the word Mickey Mouse, but there is a Steamboat Willie that is out there now. That was the original, original Mickey Mouse before it was called Mickey Mouse. You are allowed to use some of that art. That is another <laughs> video in its entirety. I'm not gonna go into that one because I also would just suggest staying away from it because people are gonna misuse what is now now in the common use library. And I think there's gonna be a lot of people to get you know punished and kicked off the platform. So I would stay away from that one. But yeah, you can retro shirt or if we wanted to do funny shirt, you can just see what comes out here, right? So funny holiday shirt, funny golf shirt, funny shirt for dad. Let's go with funny. Oh, I didn't even spell it right. And it's still giving me options here. So funny shirts for dad from daughter, funny shirts for men graphic tees, for gamers, for boss. These are what is hot right now in the Amazon a9 search algorithm so these are things that you're going to want to pay attention to funny cat shirt hawaiian shirt for men funny again we're coming back with that right so we can click on that and i'm going to put t-shirt and just see what we come up with looks like it's mostly buttoned down show me your tiki's that's funny i've never seen that yet but yeah so these are you know other options you can do this is my hawaiian shirt so it's a picture of a shirt on a shirt i have not seen that yet apparently it's selling and this is the other thing you can do here with if you're using merch by amazon this looks like a merch by amazon shirt here you can definitely look here for inspiration and see what's going on in terms of that and see that you know if you see the sales here it means that stuff is selling right so these are probably selling what looks to be estimated 300 sales a month. Merch Informer says 243. So somewhere in between is probably, with my experience, it's at 11,000 BSR, which is Amazon's best sellers rank. The lower the better. At 11,000, you're probably, I would argue, looking at more than 300 a month. I would say you're probably looking at 25 to 30 a day. However, it is not a static number and this changes over time. And it's also dependent and relevant into other shirts in the category, right? So it's 76 overall right now in men's casual button-down shirts obviously that's a very more specific product market so it's ranked number 76 which is really good right now and then in just clothing shoes and jewelry in general it's ranked way higher but that is still a very low number as far as uh, traditional bsr scope but then the other thing is like look at this all over prints so we got prints with hibiscus stuff you got the palm trees you got the pineapples we touched on and we go back over to printify now and if we just go to catalog feature products i'm just going to go aop for all over print let's look at lay latest to see what's available here so here we go women's razorback dress like if you're on a beachy island and you can get some kind of flowy dress or something just cover up a bikini before you know between the beach and dinner this is stuff that could work right beach totes a bucket hat keep you know the sun out of your eyes these are all awesome stuff right now that i think would sell pretty good with our floral themed prints here what else do we got this looks like yeah weekender totes so that's your beach bag right you can have your towel in there you can have your all over printed water bottle your tumbler all that stuff that you can make in your shop that is beach centric if you're doing a beach themed kind of store other than that you got hoodies you got youth hooded towels shorts scrunchies pillows all kinds of stuff fanny packs where you know everybody out here has a fanny pack right now because not everybody's got pockets in their trunks everybody wants to be hand free but you don't want the cumbersome backpack some of this stuff can go right on top of a fanny pack and it would be something that would sell for sure for people visiting islands i'm seeing it everywhere we go stacy's got one herself everybody we know walking around or you see out there every third person probably has a fanny pack on right now so that said i'm gonna make sure that i add these to our get shipwreck shot because i don't think i included it in our product offerings that we had intended in our list there but yeah luggage cover is always a good option for people who like to travel especially to tropical places these just slide over your luggage 
so you can have you know something absolutely unique as ridiculous as somebody's face on the luggage did you write your name on it well no but your face is on it kind of hard to miss these are all really fun things i know the desk mats are hot right now but that doesn't necessarily suit the niche it may if somebody decides they want to feel like they're away when they're working from home but otherwise yeah there's a few products here and go right on to the next page here the lightweight buff neck gaiter is a great way to keep the uv rays off your face and lips so you don't get sun bleached or burnt out there on the water if it's salt water or even you know a wind burn right what else do we have here laundry bag we actually need one of those here all of our print tanks of course it works sleeveless sundress will work same idea right all the beachy themed stuff that is loose and flowy and good for the warm weather oh yeah look at that can coolers right i mean no brainer all the stuff that you're going to want to combat the heat with while you're enjoying it relax shorts go right over your swim trunk bottoms outdoor drawstring bags all kinds of products that are all over print that you can just put patterns on you can create patterns in all of these art programs too and drop them on any of these products so there's all kinds of ways to come up with uh, niche research and that's the other thing too so like when we're looking at t-shirts initially don't be afraid in your niche research to look at other products that would fit that niche right so like i've just identified you know, a handful of eight or nine products that could work perfectly in your shop and the idea there isn't necessarily to throw the same print on everything out there because if you have pink flamingo t-shirt print it's not going to look necessarily great on as a pattern or anything like that but the pink flamingos and the hibiscus alone scattered as a print as a pattern could look great on a print on other options right but yeah you kind of see how we sort of went down rabbit holes and that's the whole point it's supposed to be somewhat fun it's supposed to be organic it's not supposed to feel like step one do this step two do this but as soon as you try to apply a structure to organic niche research it just feels too forced and that's where you lose that creative element right like, you know we're able to look at all kinds of websites here and get all kinds of inspiration and that's the whole point is to go down these rabbit holes they're not the enemy typically in what we do with all the shiny object syndrome is the rabbit holes can be the enemy of productivity as I said in this video of 10 things that you should pay attention to 10 things I've learned in my 10 years on print on demand is that niche research should be fun otherwise it sucks it gets boring really quickly so make sure you check that video out too and that's it for this one there's a bunch of ways to do free research and I'm, I hope to see you guys go down and waste some time in some rabbit holes and come up with some awesome ideas see you in the next one